Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is perhaps the greatest collaboration of video game franchises in history, representing over 150 different gaming series in one title. This is most apparent looking at the roster of 80 plus characters spanning some of the most iconic faces in all gaming. With so many exciting characters present, there's an abundance of incredible powers and abilities. In attempts to keep every character relevant, the development team has balanced the game, making some characters weaker than they would be in their own games, and others stronger. Otherwise, I don't think Mitsu would have much trouble defeating a plan. But what if they weren't in the balanced world of Smash? Which character is actually the strongest canonically? Let's find out. And if you want to learn even more about your favorite characters, head on over to our website, ProGuides.com. Our Smash section is chock full of character guides and resources, and our Play With Pros feature connects you to the coaches that can help you improve. We've also got exclusive pro courses with top players like MKLeo, so check out our website. So let's take a look at some of the strongest video game characters featured in Smash. We'll be doing our best to avoid spoilers along the way, so you can appreciate these characters even if you haven't played their games yet. First up, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. Debuting in its self-titled classic on the Sega Genesis, the Blue Blur has gone on to star in many games, with unique power-ups and abilities along the way. Most obviously, Sonic is fast. How fast? It's tough to say for sure, but multiple counts clock him at speeds hitting over 700 miles per hour. Other claims put him over 2,000 miles per hour, but even 700 is insanely fast and will let him outmaneuver almost any other character in Smash. That's not all though. With the power of the Chaos Emeralds, Sonic becomes Super Sonic. In this form, he's able to fly, resist damage, and perform powerful attacks. Pokemon Trainers made their first appearance as a player character in Pokemon Red and Blue, and every subsequent Pokemon RPG puts the player in control of a trainer as well. In Smash Ultimate, Pokemon Trainer can only throw out Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard, but no other trainer in the Pokemon universe is limited to just those. With potential access to any Pokemon, the abilities and power is virtually limitless, certainly more than enough to defeat a billion lions. Now, you might argue that Pokemon Trainers in Smash are limited to Pokemon in Red and Blue only, but that still includes legendaries like Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, as well as Mewtwo, who is featured in Smash, interestingly enough. These Pokemon possess incredible powers, making the trainer who commands them a force to be reckoned with. Young Link is first seen waking up in Kokairi Forest at the beginning of Ocarina of Time, and after a brilliant adventure, he finds himself in a bizarre land of Termina and Majora's Mask. Young Link doesn't seem too incredible at first glance. He's a capable swordsman with experience fighting tons of monsters, but at the end of the day, he's just still a kid with a sword. So what does he have to hold on his own against these other titans, or even the other Links? Well, this Link is from Majora's Mask, which means he has masks, lots of them. In Majora's Mask, Young Link obtains different abilities and transformations by wearing special masks. Most of these don't make him much stronger, but there's one mask that holds enough power for all of them, the Fierce Deity Mask. With this mask, Young Link becomes Fierce Deity Link. This is arguably the most powerful incarnation of Link, with immense increase to attack power and ability to fire energy blasts from his sword. Interestingly, Fierce Deity Link exists in Smash Ultimate as an alternate costume of Breath of the Wild Link. Although there's a legitimate reason for the alternate costume existing, the Fierce Deity Link is only a form of Young Link. Shulk made his debut as a protagonist in Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii and joined Smash as a newcomer in Smash 4. Many of us have not played Xenoblade Chronicles, and with the remake coming out soon on the Switch, we don't really want to say too much about Shulk at this point. What we will say is that anyone who has played through the entirety of the game knows that Shulk has a reason to be really feeling it. The Monado's power goes way beyond the tribute swapping laser sword that Shulk wields in Smash, and even in Smash, Shulk has the power to see the future which is an incredible ability in itself. Shulk goes even further, however, with his true powers realized he can hold his own against anyone else in this game. Bayonetta is the protagonist of her self-titled game which originated on an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. The flashy hack and slash was later ported to the Wii U along with its sequel, Bayonetta 2, before the character capped off in Smash 4's DLC. Bayonetta's absurdly broken Smash 4 iteration was actually a huge nerf to her legitimate abilities. The Wicked Umber Witch can fly around unleashing devastating combos and slow down time just like in Smash, but she can do so much more. Bayonetta can transform into various animals. She has incredible superhuman strength and reflexes. She can summon demons or their limbs, and she has an ultimate form that boosts her stats even more and grants her healing abilities. In her own games, Bayonetta takes on gigantic creatures and divine foes, the likes of which would themselves overwhelm most characters in Smash. Persona 5 introduced Joker as the leader of the Phantom Thieves, a group of high school students who fight evil in people's hearts with their Persona abilities. Joker isn't too strong on his own, however, in Persona 5, 
Joker is basically just an average high school student, but when fighting as a part of the Phantom Thieves, his weapons become more powerful and he unlocks his persona ability. In Smash Ultimate, Joker's Arsene form makes him an incredibly broken character, but Arsene is actually one of the hundreds of personas in Persona 5. In fact, Arsene is actually Joker's starting persona, so it's possible that the Arsene in Smash is only level 1 of 99. The list of personas obtainable by Joker in Persona 5 includes the devil himself, Thor, and of course, the lovable Jack Frost. Hee ho! <laughs> Basically, Joker can whip out the most powerful beings in the history of all lore, so he's no slouch in combat. Kirby has been a gaming icon since the early 90s, when he debuted in Kirby's Dream Land on a Game Boy. Co-created by Smash director Masahiro Sakurai himself, the Kirby series has gone on to include dozens of titles featuring this lovable round mascot. Appearance-wise, Kirby might actually seem like the weakest character in Smash. He's a cute pink puffball with short limbs and his official height is under one foot tall. Looking at his abilities, he starts to seem a little bit stronger. Kirby can inhale almost anything and copy its abilities. This alone could actually make him extremely strong depending on what kind of powers he copies, but it goes even further. In his Kirby games, Kirby has defeated godly beings that possess the power to destroy entire universes. Even in Smash Ultimate's lore, Kirby was the only character able to outrun Galeem's attack. And on his Warp Star, Kirby is shown surpassing even Sonic in speed. Although Sonic did appear to attempt to save Pikachu, Kirby is certainly an incredible being, which makes it even more surprising how bad he is in Smash. The Ganon featured in Smash Ultimate originated from Ocarina of Time, but his true form of Ganon is the antagonist in most Zelda games, including the very first, Legend of Zelda on the NES. In every game, however, Ganon always winds up being defeated by Link, and not even Fierce Deity Link. The reason Link is able to defeat Ganon is actually due to the Master Sword, Light Arrows, and Triforce of Courage that he possesses. In fact, it's been implied that Ganon may be completely invincible without these items. Either way, no matter how many times Ganon is defeated, he always returns in another game, with historical references indicating that this is the same Ganon each and every time. On the surface, Ganon is quite powerful, wielding dark magic, commanding an army of evil creatures, and swinging giant blades in his beast form. Without Link, we're not sure if any other Smash character can defeat Ganon, and even if they could, he'd probably just come back a few centuries later anyway. Mario is perhaps the most iconic video game character in series of all time, but he actually originated in a video game, Donkey Kong. Mario then went on to star in Mario Brothers, and then the Super Mario Brothers series was created. At first, we weren't planning to add Mario to this list. Sure, he's a cool hero and all, but most of what he does is just jump. In fact, his original name was Jumpman. But then we remembered that the Mario and Smash Ultimate is a Super Mario Odyssey edition, which means he has Cappy. Okay, so he still has Flood from Mario Sunshine, but he has Cappy and you know, the, the wedding suit. It's Mario, it's Mario Odyssey, okay? In Odyssey, Mario can throw his living cap onto just about any enemy or even object in the game and completely possess it. In theory, this means that Mario could actually take control of every character in Smash. How would he defeat them all at that point? We're not sure, but he's Mario. He always finds a way. And even if he can't defeat them, this gives Mario a way to turn any fight into a stalemate, so long as they don't take the hat off. To finish off this list, Rosalina first appeared in Super Mario Galaxy for the Wii. Her exact origin is unknown with the World of Mario games, but she is revealed as a galactic princess who resides in the Comet Observatory. Rosalina has mysterious intergalactic powers, the limits of which we haven't seen. What we have seen is that Rosalina commands all of the Lumas, which are baby stars and could become planets or even entire galaxies. With the help of the Lumas, Rosalina saved Mario from a black hole, one of the strongest natural forces in existence, before creating a new universe like it was nothing. We're not sure how Rosalina's abilities could work offensively, but having control over stars and planets gives her some immense power. Who is the strongest character that could defeat any of the Smash characters with their cannon strength? It's gotta be Kirby. In Kirby's Planet Robotbot, it's officially stated that Kirby has infinite power, but this was already apparent considering the countless universe destroyers, gods, and other omnipotent beings that Kirby has casually defeated, or in some cases, devoured. Who do you think is the strongest Smash character canonically? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to subscribe and click that bell for more from Pro Guides.